Hague also ruled that the Geneva Convention to occupied areas apply here. So Israel has no right, for example, to build settlements here, has no right to the privacy of freedom of movement or anything else. But nevertheless, Israel violates just about every provision of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, 1949-48. And it violates just about every aspect of international law that governs occupied territories like the Geneva Convention and so on. So what does this mean to me personally? Well, you know, a military commander here is like a king. Uh, and king in medieval Europe, if he passed through the street and he didn't like somebody looking at him in a funny way, could ask the person to have his throat cut or killed, and no consequences. Israeli commanders here have no consequences for what they do to Palestinians, in the same fashion, literally. There's no law that governs what they do to us. There are hundreds of military orders, for example, that are racist and discriminatory, and nobody can challenge them because, well, <laughs> we're, who are we going to challenge them to where? To Israeli courts, and Israeli courts will rule against us. I'll give you just a few examples. When Israel came here in 1967, one of the laws I said is no Palestinians can build in the majority of the area of the West Bank, the areas that are already developed,